I'm Bruce Becker from the CSIR in South Africa, Council for Scientific and Industrial Research. I work for the National Research Network there and uh, we're one of the partners of the SciGaia project. I'm standing here with uh, colleagues of ours from the great expanse of Africa, the north, the, well, the, the uh, north the of west, us, actually. <laughs> northwest in Nigeria. Uh, we've got a colleague from South Africa uh, and two from Tanzania. Uh, so it's uh, quite unusual for us to get into into contact in such a in such a circumstance. Even though we've been working together, most of us for a few years, um, and we hope that this collaboration collaboration is going to continue. Uh, it's a great idea and a great opportunity to get together and uh, and work on concrete problems. So we're going to have a little bit of a discussion to uh, express you know how how we feel about participating in the school, the the goals that we may have, uh, which may be a little bit different from the European partners, and uh, and just talk about what it's like to collaborate here in, uh, in beautiful Catania. Um, where was I? I was telling you, fantastic public, about our great guests that we have here. Um, as I mentioned, we've got uh, very top researchers from Nigeria, from South Africa and from Tanzania, including myself uh, from the CSR. Um, I wonder if I can just ask you guys to introduce yourselves for the camera and for the public out there, just your, your name and your institute. Uh, okay. Um, my name is Benjamin Aribisala. Um, I work with uh, Lagos State University in Nigeria. Thanks. Why don't you follow my name is David Tresnamozi. I am from the Northwest University in South Africa. All right. My name is Aaron Kondrolo and I'm from the University of Dar es Salaam in Tanzania. My name is uh, Stefan Gaya. I'm from Tanzania Education Research Network from Tanzania. Great. So, um, as I was saying before, it's quite rare to be able to collaborate all together in a place. This uh, almost never happens. And uh, we've seen all of the issues that we've had uh, re regarding mobility of just getting to this place. But now that we're here, um, I wonder if I can kind of ask you to explain the, the project that you have and how you think it's going to impact the, the research community or the user community or even the population at large um, as we go through these weeks of work. Oh, okay, uh, thank you very much. Um, the project I'm working on, um, it's about d developing an e uh, infrastructure for medical image analysis. So I actually call it um, an intelligent medical image analyzer. Right. And what that uh, implies is that, uh, okay, we want to build um, a platform which will allow um, medical images from uh, Africa to be stored in a repository and then we build a little bit of intelligence and um, bring some tools together onto the platform so that people in Africa who would like to um, do some research and people even outside Africa who want to look at the data because of the peculiarity of some of the data we've got uh, but who will want to do research with them could have access to that and um, so the end users uh, in this case are most likely going to be clinicians, uh, researchers and, uh, and uh, maybe postgraduate students as well. So the idea is um, when people have a platform where they can put their data, it encourages collaboration. And then um, once we work together as a team, the power of synergy uh, comes in. And then things can get better in terms of medical diagnosis, um, in terms of uh, management of patients, um, so better quality of life. And in the end, um, we anticipating that there could be, um, you know, people could live longer, you know. So, um, so this is the idea. So the project is to benefit the entire community within Africa and outside. That sounds fantastic. Really look forward to seeing that. So let's hand over to David. Uh, thanks. Uh, interesting to speak after the professor on <laughs> <laughs> all these very nice things. But uh, my project is uh, a simple uh, human uh, language technology uh, applications that I'm working on. Uh, there's a very vast uh, and diverse speech uh, community in South Africa and of course in Africa uh, at large. But right now we're developing specific with South Africa at the back of our mind. Of course with uh, the intention to extend quite soon. But what we're simply doing is the reproducibility uh, of uh, a, an automatic speech recognizer, especially dealing with workflows uh, about that. You know, human languages has always been a very critical, important part of all of us. We might not realize it because we're born and uh, naturally we speak. But uh, when you want to move from one language to the next, then you realize that it's not that easy. And we've got so many people around who are not very common with uh, the common language, which is English, like what we're doing now, if I spoke in my mother language, all of you will be blinking a thousand times. Well, why don't you go ahead and do that? <laughs> <laughs> that simply means uh, 
how are you? Uh, that, that, that's a greeting. But yeah, that's what we're working on. So uh, training systems that are, can actually re, uh, recognize uh, voices that can do and uh, encapsulate all the other languages. So what we're basically doing is trying to get research as a platform where uh, you've got a web interface that is already running uh, and everything that you need in the application is ported there. What you simply do is to go and play around with your data and play around with some few other uh, uh, specifications in your recipe and then boom, you, you train. But I think most importantly is to foster collaboration because we don't collaborate a lot in South Africa and in Africa in general we don't collaborate. So now we want to collaborate and we are saying researchers, look, uh, let's, let's, let's test the results that you're getting, let's see if we can work together and improve them than you uh, working alone. So it's basically what I, I'm here for. And I'm very excited to be in Catania. It's, it's beautiful here. A bit hot though. But yeah, uh, Tara. Uh, how about Igani? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. like, uh, how are you in oh. Swahili? Yes, yeah, yeah. 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 You say Asante. Asante. Oh, uh, no, no, you say, uh, f uh, uh, yeah, you say Nzuri. Nzuri. Uh, exactly. Oh, Nzuri. Yeah, Nzuri. It means I'm okay. Yeah. Oh, Nzuri. Yeah. We're okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, so uh, my project uh, basically is called iGrid, and uh, it's, part, uh, uh, it's a part of my PhD studies. I'm a PhD student uh, at the University of Dar es Salaam, and essentially what we are trying to do over there is uh, there is a currently a challenge in Tanzania, uh, especially for rural communities, to get access to uh, energy, electrical power in, uh, uh, <coughs> in, in many areas and also in an affordable way. So, I mean, there are strategies by the government. They are trying to increase access to these communities. Uh, in, but the challenge, I mean, um, uh, is that using these traditional means, uh, reliability of this uh, power generation is not really good. So what essentially we are trying to do is use technology in order to uh, make this process more efficient. So essentially what we are trying to do is uh, build a small off-grid uh, uh, power generation using uh, renewable resources like solar uh, power in order to generate power and we are using technology to make it more intelligent, using technology to make it more intelligent and efficient. So essentially we are building a microgrid, small grids for off-grid communities, right, yeah, in order to uh, uh, improve access to energy to those communities, essentially. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Great. All right. Okay, so uh, closing it off, and uh, we're going to hand over to Stephen. Stephen, why don't you give us a little bit of idea of what you're doing here? <laughs> okay. Uh, actually, what I'm doing is uh, putting one application called Weka in the Sans Gateway. So Weka is a data mining application so what uh, actually we are specifying we want to uh, use that of uh, people who diagnosed with uh, tumors so we want to see these tumors is malignant mal malignant tumor is a uh, begin tumors so basically uh, we want to help to put uh, uh, work on the uh, sense gateway yeah, so that on the sorry on the sense gateway so that other people can use in different ways right. and uh, they can use to mine the data in different uh, ways. So basically, yeah. that's what. Uh, Sounds fantastic. Yeah, it's I mean, a widely used tool. I mean, yeah, it's widely used tool. So will help uh, scientific uh, society in Tanzania to actually because things goes cloud <laughs> even outside the Tanzania. Yeah, yeah they can. Uh, they can use it. Excellent. Yeah. Great. Okay, great. I wanted to introduce the coordinates of the project from uh, Brunel University in the UK. Um, our poor refugee <laughs> from the European Union. <laughs> <laughs> How did he <they> get here? <laughs> Simon, uh, why don't you give us an introduction of uh, you and your importance to this project? Well, I, I wouldn't say uh, importance, I think I'm probably the least important. Um, so I'm the coordinator and uh, my pleasure is to try and get everybody around here to work together to produce good quality scientific results by the end of the project. I guess if we're doing one thing, it's trying to figure out how to empower different communities. Yeah. So I think we can all think of great examples of computing devices, ICT, that people have developed that just don't work that have um, been developed with really good intentions, but at the end of the day, they're unusable by scientists, unusable by students, because they just need too much knowledge about computing. It's my hope with this project that we can use science gateways to leverage these new applications in such a way that and scientific end users can easily make use of advanced ICT 
to do exactly the sort of things that Ben was saying earlier about, you know, in bioinformatics, um, you know, helping sort of people do brain related research, to do data mining through Weka, machine learning, etc. All these things uh, through a very familiar interface, which is, you know, a web based portal for as far as an end user is concerned. We know how much sophisticated technology there is behind it, but it's all hidden. One really important thing, and this is one of the things I'm very proud about in this project, is everything we do is being recorded. Everything that we do, we're developing big training materials to support, and it's all open access. So go and head over to the SciGare website, download yourself a learning module, and learn how to do it. It's great. Looking forward to it. Great.